Who was created first? Maybe they copied them. Oh, oh no. Hey guys, it's Wendy. Welcome back to another video. I literally just woke up. I am kind of tired, not gonna lie. Um, but we needed to get up and get the day going. It's probably like quarter to 10. Um, I slept quite late, late yesterday, which was probably a bad idea. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys my day. I think I'm gonna have like a kind of busy day today. So um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but I'm a business student. I'm studying digital marketing at Vega, the one in Cape Town. There's like Vegas around like South Africa, not like all over, like Durban, Joburg in Cape Town. And I'm studying in the one in Cape Town. So when you're in second year, everyone does this like gamers and everything like that. Um, you do like a brand activation and we are currently in the midst of that we literally started yesterday so yeah we don't have like class but we have that basically they get brands and um or brands approach them something like that and then we get put into groups like random groups with kids from like the different campuses and like different degrees and then we get like a client briefing and then they tell us what they want like if they want us to like change their websites change their packaging get them more customers increase engagement like stuff like that like it differs from like brand to brand so we had that yesterday i didn't like vlog yesterday because i just felt like it was like the first day like it was like the intro and the briefing and i just didn't know what was going to happen i just wasn't sure so and it was actually very busy like it was very confusing so i'm glad i didn't today i feel like i kind of know what's happening even though i'm still confused because it's literally just the second day so we're working with darling sweet i don't know if any of you guys know it um personally i didn't know it it's like a toffee company we had a client briefing with them with one of the co-owners and they don't want us to change the packaging they don't want us to change the slogan they kind of like their brand they just want us to work on basically their social media um and improve it because it's so dead it's so bad i think it's because they're quite old and it's a, like a family company so everyone there is a bit old and the instagram is quite bad so we have to like my team and i we have to like try and basically like revamp them and increase their engagement increase their following and just increase their communication so um it is quite early so like like i said it's like quarter to ten i just wanted to be like like actually awake for the meeting just putting two ice cubes squeeze out the lemon i prefer the fresh lemon as opposed to the the lemon juice thing so i have changed because i just finished showering um it's like five past 11 right now we like should be starting with the meeting everyone's talking on the group and i don't know if we're just gonna do it on the group or like call but we also just did that we call because on the school like call thing you can record it and they monitor what you say so in case like someone doesn't do their work or something like that we can always like prove it so i feel like i don't know what's happening right now but yeah just wanted to let you guys know this is my workspace for when i'm like in durban at home um we have like this um second lounging area and there's this table so i just put my books and stuff on here i like prefer it more than my room simply because my room is so so dark i hate it so much like i hate being in my room so much like it's just like too damn dark for me so I, I wouldn't want to like work there because it's just too dark for me like i wouldn't enjoy it these are all the notes that i made yesterday 
from the briefing i had a, a lot down a rot <laughs> i had a lot down but um there's other boy in my group he's like so on his game like i'm so shocked because like i mean i'm usually lazy or is it just me so yeah he was asking so many questions and i'm pretty sure he has so much info written down as well so like if i am missing like anything i'll just like holler at him so basically this is what i did yesterday it's very like rough it's nothing like like aesthetic that's like the design kids thing to do like i can do it but like i don't have to um this time around because we have so many like design students in our group so i did like the social like a quick social media analysis because you can't really do like an in-depth detailed one without the actual like social media accounts where you look into their insights and stuff like that um so yeah i did that and as it's it's not looking good like the average likes are like 9 to 60 like that's so shit the average comments are 0 to 2 so yeah that was pretty shit and then this is my um brand positioning statement i got two so i'm just gonna show my group both of them and we'll see which one we go with and if they want me to like tweak it up like make it more i don't know like hefty or something like that brand positioning statements aren't supposed to be long because they're supposed to be short and concise and straight to the point like it's just like a you're making a statement you know you need to just be quick and straight to the point so i think it'll be fine the meeting has been moved to 12. i'm making some french toast i've decided to cut my bread up into strips i feel like it's cuter easier so i'm just gonna make my french toast it's i'm like almost done i have like 10 minutes to do this and i feel like 10 minutes is enough this is my breakfast oh i can't wait i'll put some honey on it you wanna pop out so good i am now just logging in to my school thing um because the meeting is literally about to start sorry i think it's just uh, rough hello rough is missing and um someone just left there was like eight people shana just left you shana. just said your wi-fi or collab has been weird hey this is very weird <laughs> i think we're just going to like wait a bit for them yeah well shana said your wi-fi is not working should be recorded for like the people that aren't here yeah that was very awkward and unproductive um child anyway <laughs> i've done everything i have to do um i'm just gonna like double check just to see if i'm missing anything i'm just gonna do some admin right now and then later on we will have the meeting i don't even know if it's gonna be a real meeting at this point at 2 30 so yeah i'll catch you guys then i literally fell asleep i don't know if you guys can tell but my eyes are kind of puffy yeah um i fell asleep i was so tired so i literally 
took a nap and now is the official meeting Alrighty, hi guys Hi Hi, hi guys, I see Ross is still reconnecting um, Please don't talk, my mic is going to be on Anyway Too much content um, Did you guys know that? I just phoned a place now. Did you guys know there's like literally another handcrafted toffee place in the Western Cape that is almost identical to them? Seriously? What? Identical. Wow. What's the name? Oh, yeah, just give oh, us a it's name. Called, um, it's called Sweet Temptation. This is a, oh. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. It looks but, almost identical to them. Who was created first? Maybe they copied them. Ooh, oh no. I, <laughs> I think they were created first. They were created in 2010. Oh. Yeah, so we're dealing with that. Oh, wow. yeah. You're their frauds. <laughs> You pay a lot for shelf prisons. You also have to increase your production in order to keep up with their demand, which is another cost. And also, if they want to increase the Well, that, but also, generally, people like these businesses want to be small to preserve their quality because generally, the more you start producing, your quality tends to go down the toilet. And so, but also, those big stores take like 90% of the profit. So, so you, you are, you are, you, yeah. Yeah. Well, then I was going to say, like, how many family restaurants do you know that have become franchised and successful? You may give them one odd Italian one that you know, like, I know one odd Italian one that's like, um, that's like a family franchise, but that doesn't rake in as much profit as, like, a franchise like Rock and Mamas, even if the quality is less. Yes. And, um, also, I mean, because it's like you tend to, Oh my gosh, so we are done now, um, I am so tired, we took like two hours, took a long time, um, I'm quite sleepy even though I took a nap, so I think I need coffee, I haven't had coffee today and that clearly explains it all. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and showed you maybe how business life in uni is and if you're thinking of taking it if you'd like it or you know if you guys want me to do more business like student vlogs i will definitely do that um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please please subscribe if you haven't already and like this video